Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Explaining Minecraft video. So today I just want to tell you that this actually doesn't create a zero tick pulse, which is interesting, um, but it's true. It creates a one game tick pulse, but because of tick phase order, then this piston only gets powered for zero ticks. So let me show you, the game is frozen at the moment. So if I flick this lever, um, then that will update this piston. And if I do tick step one, it starts moving. And now it's here. You can see the rest of block is over here. It's completely solid. I can place stuff next to it. But the piston didn't actually update yet. So it didn't start extending yet. Now if I do tick step one more, you can see then the piston extended, but this redstone block went back. Now, the fact that you could see the redstone block right there next to the piston and the piston wasn't extending, that's not a sign of it being a zero tick, because if it was a zero tick, it would be there and then not be there in the same game tick. So what is this then? How does that happen? Well, it turns out that a lot of the stuff is due to the tick phases. So what happens in each game tick? So if you didn't see that video, you should go check it out. But anyway, let me just set this up real quick. Alright, so here's that setup. You can see we have the bud piston and then the piston over here. Now, what happens is that when this block comes out of the being moving, when it stops moving, so when this redstone block goes from being here to being over here, then when it stops moving, that happens in the tile entity phase. The reason this is important is because, because anything having to do with the piston extending goes in the block event phase. So the fact that the rest of the block only appeared there in the tile entity phase, but then the block event phase already passed, that means we have to wait for the next tick to schedule that block event, and then by the next tick, this rest of the block is already moving back. Which is kind of interesting, in my opinion, it's like one game tick pulse, but it acts like a zero tick pulse for the pistons. It's actually like, if you, um pull out the redstone or something, you will be able to see that it's definitely one game tick pulse. So yeah, this is just a little quick thing I wanted to share with you, a little misconception that this creates a zero tick pulse, it doesn't, it creates a one game tick pulse, but for pistons it acts like a zero tick pulse. So yeah guys, that's going to be it for today, I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, bye!